Hello, hello, welcome back to TF Custom Shaving Brushes Workshop. My name's Tony, how are we all? Welcome back to another video. <coughs> Excuse me. I've already got a blank set up in the lathe here for tonight's uh, live. So this one will be heading over to, um, I think it's actually going over to the States, as are the next two that I'm going to be doing as well in a, in a couple of live streams. I've got them lined up here, up behind me, up here. Um, so yeah, so this one will be uh, heading off to the States. Hopefully it'll get over there before Christmas. Um, I think it is a Christmas gift to, uh, to the fellas. So um, anyway, we'll see how we go. We're going to be turning this one tonight and then um, we'll just see who else drops in in the stream shortly and then we'll get we'll get cracking. Now the shape that I'm going to be putting into this one is the shape, same shape as this one here. Um, so if I put these on to camera three, that shape there or very similar to it. Won't be exactly the same, but it'll be fairly close. So that's the shape we're putting in. And as you can see, it's what we, what I used to call the ice fusion blank. <clears throat> so it's got a mix of solid colors in it as well as deep blue um, tinted transparent. So um, it gets a little bit of a three dimensional look in it, depending on what, what the other colors have done inside it. So um, anyway, we'll see how we go tonight. We'll see what it looks like once we get it finished and um, in the meantime I'll just check out and see who's uh, who's all in the chat. So we've got Brett in the chat there. Good evening mate, how are you? I'm well, I'm well mate. Take it you're on the road are you? Right, well I might as well get started then. There's only you and I here, Brett again. Um, so I might as well get started, mate. And um, whoever drops in, drops in, eh? Okay, now I did um, adjust my settings for the video as well um, in my little mixer device, and the, the one that decodes and sends the, uh, sends the stream to YouTube. Um, so I'm noticing on my data rate on the monitor in front of me here, it has dropped that back. Um, where is it used to be up around about the 9, just over the 9, it's dropped it back to 7, or just over 7, 7.1. Now, when I looked into YouTube, YouTube reckons that they, cannot, that they only want about 4.5 4 um, megabytes per second. So, I'll see how this one goes. If this one trips out as well, then obviously there's an issue. Um, and I might need to drop it down to the lower setting. Um, but it just seems strange because I should be able to stream on the higher setting as well because I've got the I've got the upload. It's just the fact that I think YouTube um, doesn't it doesn't like it. So anyway, we'll see how we go, and it'll um, put us to the test tonight. See if we get a clear a clear stream tonight. The stream did go through okay. I watched the last one back. It did go through okay. There was a couple of little stuttery moments in it, but um, it managed to capture the majority of the video, even though we had those issues. So it was really just a live issue, really. Um, the video turned out not too bad on YouTube. So uh, anyway, let's get going, eh? And we'll just monitor this and we'll see how it goes, eh? Right, I'll get this phone in my pocket because it's a bit bloody heavy. And um, we'll get started. So. Yeah, just you and I, mate. You're waiting as usual. Oh, well. Gives you a bit of time to yourself, I suppose, and you can sit there and chill. And as it gets later, you'll miss all the uh, you'll miss all the the busy Sydney traffic. Right, let's just get this show on the road. So we'll just start this off. Oh, helps when you um, lock off the tail stop. So I'm going to take that back. It's probably still running a little bit too fast there. So I'll take that back till we hit about 10 mil. And then I can go in my... It's a 70. So we'll go in about 16. So that'll be about 26 mil I need to go in. Uh, hang on, we need to take that back to zero first there we go 
that should be on 10 and we'll take that until we get to about 26 thereabouts that'll do us and we'll see how we go with that for a start got everything cranked up tonight so we'll see how we go it's been reasonably, reasonably hot here all day today too so um, I've been in and out of the shed a couple of times today just letting it cool down open, open the door up and that so it's not too bad at the moment, but as we get going, it might heat up again. So we'll see how we go. Right, I'm just going to check that first um, before I go and get myself too carried away. Let's take the sharp edge off. Oh. That should be too tight. Yeah, it just needs a little bit off. So that's one of my two band finest um, knots here, which are, um, they are a nice little knot. You'll need to let me know how you go with that fan. What did you think of the, uh, the brushes, mate? You managed to get time to open them up yet or are they uh, still sitting in the parcel in the van, or in the car or whatever? pretty good that's pretty good yep so we'll leave that at that I'm happy with that and now we'll start some shaping so um, I'll get my pencil I'll just put a couple of marks on this very quickly And then the rest we can do is we work our way through the handle. I just got that brush because that brush is um, a similar, well, pretty much the same shape, to be honest. So um, I should be able to just work off of that one to get keep me right with this one. But I think we'll be pretty right. This is a shape I've done quite a few times before anyway, so... Um, it's no big deal and I'll put the live center in but we won't need that just for yet but we will get it ready okay and we got T-Man in the house good afternoon to you T-Man how are you buddy and I've put that uh, bluish purplish handle aside for you Mike I didn't get anything away today, sorry. Um, it will have to be tomorrow morning I send them. Or send it, I should say. Right, 
right. It's not too bad. And now we'll just go in here. Shake that. Right. Now let me see where my other pencil marks are. So I've got another one there, which I think that's probably going to have to go down a little bit. So we'll probably put that there there and we'll focus on that one for now okay and that one is pretty much in there like that This one will curve back down again. Now I might put used to that shot there and we'll put um, the picture in picture we'll put to um, two and that should keep us right there. Have a look and see how that's shaping up. Ah, streamers. That's nice. Okay, but we're going to take that down a little bit because it's too heavy.
nice. Okay. That's not bad. No. So we need another V there. So this one needs to be V'd a little bit more. as does this one so that's getting more of where I, I want that to be now nice yep happy with that so now we'll go in here and make another V cut to there and we're going to just take a little bit more off that one We'll probably have to put the um, tail stock in with the live center. So lock it off a bit there. It's nice and refreshing, it's like a nice, really nice refreshing looking um, blank this one. Um, it is quite nice, I mean I've got one in my um, shaving den as well, um, in the Ice Fusion. Right, that's right there and we just want a little bit more there. That looks a bit better. And then we'll just trim that up, tidy that up. That's that. Now we'll go back and we'll start doing a little bit of shaping. And this one, so it gets undercut from there. So that's, that's that there like that. So yeah, so we'll undercut that now. That's about right, and I can probably speed it up a bit.
that's good. Now we'll start to get some, see some of that um, dark, deep blue coming in as well. that a clean. Right, now before I get too carried away in shaping this, I want to just um, check a couple of things. So, just get the pencil there now. So that gets us right there. We're going to, we're going to be running down about there somewhere. And we need to round that up slightly and it will have a bead there will be a little bead on the bottom um because that's the same as the previous ice fusion that i've done that he's seen that he likes so uh, so we'll get that keep that happening so what i'll do is i'll come back and put that pencil marking properly so i can clearly see where i'm going so we're going to be going to about there. And then what I want to do is have a look at that and see how that's going to look with the knot in there as well. We'll move this out the way for a sec. Probably going to need to be a bit shorter than that. And that would come back to sort of there, yeah. Okay, it's probably going to need to be two or three mil shorter than that. It's got one here that for some reason is kinked over. Right, so we can continue on now that I know what I've, where I've got a head. So we're actually going to part that off further up here. We'll put a part and mark in it, not part it off yet. So I'm thinking around about there at this point in time. Right, I think that'll do us there. Come 
Right. Lift this up again. And then we'll need to just give this bottom corner a little bit of a round over. Like that. Not too risk, a little bit high. Lift that up. Okay. Have another look. It's probably still a little bit too chunky on there, but not a lot. And I do need to move this a bit more back so I can get the Tool rest in better. Lock that off again, that's better. No, we're good. I'm going to do now is just sweeten that curve into there. And before we get too carried away, I want this one, which is the bigger one than the one we used the other night. Um, what I want to do is just have a quick look at the photograph. Yeah, so it's up a little bit higher. So that's good. I need to drop this down again.
Now we need to go in here and just put this little bead in. Just check, make sure we've got that bead rolled properly all the way. Yep, that's good. That's pretty good. And then I just need to look and see if I need to take those corners off. No, they pretty much stay the way they are. Maybe just take them slightly, I think it'll look better. So just ever so slightly. Right, this very tiny touch. That's it. And a very tiny touch, and that just, to me, that just finishes it and sets it properly then. Um, get that out of the way. Now I'm just going to look and just make sure that I'm happy with the overall shape. And I think we're very close there to be honest. Um, just give me two seconds. Oh, that's okay, close, close. Yeah, no, that's all good, buddy. All good, all good, all good. Right, now, so what I'm looking at is just trying to see where everything's at there. I think we'll um, get rid of the beading tool now because that's that done. Um, I think what I need to do is I need to just take this one in a little bit more and probably this one now you can see I'm just sort of putting finishing touches to it now and that's actually going to get rounded over a little bit more This one is going to get more of an angle. It's better. And I'm thinking I still need to go a little, just a little bit thinner there. Not too much. Actually, maybe not a lot at all. I'll maybe just uh, give it a tiny little clean, that's all. Because I think that's pretty much on the money there. Yeah. I think that's going to do it. 
Yep. Okay. Get that out of the way. Over there. Up there. And we'll have a look at it with the knot in it now and just see how it's uh, shaping up. It's got some nice colour in it though. I'm liking this bit here, it really looks like it's kind of frozen over, eh? What do you reckon? I reckon it looks pretty smick. <sighs> that one here, that, that's it, that's better. Yeah, the rest of that will come out with sanding, so that's all good. Yep. All right, I think we're um, ready to start sanding. For the first part anyway. Right, let's go. And we'll see how we go, right? It's too fast, way too fast for sanding. Did T-Man come back or is he, um, did he go? Oh, that's fine, mate. He's maybe away for dinner or something.
Okay, it's a really nice blank, this, um, this ice, ice fusion eye. It um, always comes up. You never know what you're going to get with it though, because the, um, some can be extreme and others can be quite subdued, you know, as far as um, colour swirl and mix. Um, again, I haven't seen a bad one really, but they're all, they've all been very different in their own rights. And again, it depends on the shapes you put into them too, because depending on the shape you put in, it changes the, um, the pattern of the swirl or whatever, you know. But um, yeah, it's a nice, um, something different, nice and refreshing, like I said before. Especially in our summer weather, it just something about it just makes you feel a bit refreshed. It looks refreshing. And you'll see that even more once it gets a bit of shine on it. Say shape has a lot to do with it too, the, the, um, the shape that you put in there, because it can change how the swirl or how the pattern that's in the swirl looks. So yeah, so all those are variables within the how it's going to finally turn out. <sighs> so far, so good. It's looking good. to round that bottom a little bit more too there I think um, to me it's just a little bit too sharp it's making it look a little bit heavy It's amazing how just tiny little changes can 
makes such a big difference. Right, that's that one. It's a little bit too fast again. Man's back. Welcome back, mate. Oh, before I forget, T man, same address for that um, that other handle, mate.
Matthew, I think um, I think they were all the same price, mate. I think it was one one twenty five for the synthetics, and I cover the shipping. So you just transfer um, one twenty five. And as long as I've got your phone number and your address, we'll get that off to you, mate. Probably tomorrow morning I'll um, slip down the post office and um, send it on its way. Along with um, others that I've got to send. How's the quality of the stream coming through, guys? Is the um, the videos still up to its usual standard, or and the sound and music? What's happened to the music? Music's gone. More so the video quality. I just want to make sure that it's um, it's still the same, that it hasn't dropped any, because I have dropped the settings a little bit for uh, YouTube. But the quality of the pictures is uh, good. It hasn't changed any from what you're used to watching as far as the quality of the video. That's what I was concerned about dropping the settings because I didn't want the quality of the video to actually drop. I mean, it's all recorded in um, 1080, 60 frames, 60 frames, so um, 60 frames a second, I think it is. Um, so it's it should still be good, hopefully. I could probably even drop the 60 frames a second back to 30 frames a second, to be honest. And we probably wouldn't even notice a difference. And that would probably ease up a little bit again. But anyway, well, if we can get away with these settings, we'll leave it where it's at, you know. We'll see how it, see how it pans out. It's just strange that we've been streaming for like six, seven months and never had these issues. And I, I've never changed the settings, you know. And then all of a sudden, bang! I think that was about three or four streams on the trot we had issues. Yeah, I can't help that one, unfortunately. <laughs> Sometimes I get my head over there and I think, oh, you're doing it again. And my head's not the best heads to look at, I can, t I can assure you that.
Okay. Jeez, the sand takes a while, doesn't it? I wish somebody could come up with a better way of doing the sanding or a quick way of getting around this. Fortunately, there's not. try and get the shots in for you so that you get a good picture of what I'm doing. Um, not, I don't always, sometimes I get carried away with myself and I forget to change the camera shot to whatever, but uh, thanks to people like yourself, Brett, you give me a, a bit of a gentle reminder. Change the camera view, change the camera view. We can't see. Both shots aren't clear. Oh, it shouldn't have. Shouldn't have, mate. I've got no um, no messages from YouTube and my bitrate is steady and the cache is at zero okay so I um, shouldn't have might be your end mate how's your picture team man are you all right What about the quality of the picture? Is it the same as what you're used to seeing, mate? I'm not seeing any changes or anything, Brett, so you might have to refresh your end, buddy. Unless there's something else untowards, but everything looks good, so um, nothing that I can see. I'll check it once I, I watch it back anyway, I'll see what the quality's like, because if the quality's no good, it's only on, there's three settings, there's, well actually there's a lot more, but the, the other ones are all ha much higher. Um, but I was streaming on the high for YouTube, and I've now dropped it back to medium, and then there's a low as well. But it should still be coming through in 1080p, unless the problem is the rendering by YouTube. See, it might not actually, because you're watching it live, YouTube might reduce the quality until it actually gets rendered by YouTube and goes live on the uh, on the channel. Because this video probably won't go live until either later tonight 
or tomorrow morning sometime. It will go live in my channel. Um, and that's once YouTube has rendered it to whatever it is they want it in, you know? So the 1080p might come back in the finished video, but the streaming quality is maybe being buffered down or, or reduced down by YouTube, I don't know. I mean, obviously my settings only drop from high to medium, not on, I haven't put it on low. Low would be the next step if we have dramas with the medium setting. But I'd rather find out what the issue is before that because um, I want to be able to produce the best quality video that I can produce with the gear that I've got. So, and this, the, the video cameras are, um, I mean, they're all capable of putting it, the, the, well, 1080p at 60 frames, so um, that's what we've been putting out, you know. And 1080p for YouTube is more than enough. I mean, you know, you're getting these guys putting things up in 4K and everything now, it's just getting ridiculous. Mind you, I do like to watch it in the higher resolutions, but it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, even TVs now, they're taking TVs up to um, 8K now. I still remember when we bought, when the, the 3D, 3D first came out, and we went and bought one, paid fortune for it, and it's never, it's never eventuated to anything, and then now you don't really see much of 3D, it's all been dropped. Now it's all gone, you know, UHD and, and more, you know. Now it's all moved on to the, the 2K, 4K, 6K, 8K, you know. And they've dropped the uh, the 3D. So I've got a 3D TV that's sitting there that, you know, never gets used now. I mean, it does show normal stuff as well, but um, we upgraded ours some time ago and just went to a later model and I mean it's a 4K <sighs> um, our main TV that the wife and I sit and watch but you know it's the same old story a lot of the stuff that you watch is not in 4K or not in proper 4K anyway It's all a bit of a gimmick and a con as far as I'm concerned with these TV people. But that's our modern day, isn't it? Everything's like that nowadays. Nothing's made to, to last for too long and everybody's trying to come up with something new and different. That's that one, we'll give it a little bit of a rub by hand now. So who else have we got in the uh, in the stream? We must have a couple of other people in watching the stream. We've got, we're, I'm showing um, concurrent viewers as five. So we've got Brett, we've got um, T-Man, Drop in and say good day, whoever else is in there. Happy for you to watch if you just want to watch on the side too, that's fine, but uh, drop in and get involved in the chat. Unless you're from an overseas country and you don't speak good English or whatever, that's fine too. It's all good. I'll throw up my little subscribe button down the bottom there, just um, as a reminder for people. So we'll go bottom left there.
Yeah, lurkers are fine. Just be nice to get people to come in and just say good day and I'm just glad people watch, that's all. Um, and even happier if they get in and get involved in the chat. Makes it more interactive. Right, I think that'll do that. We'll get onto this section here now. Make sure that we're getting it sandy properly in the areas it needs to be, especially in those tight, detailed areas, because you don't always necessarily get in there with the um, with the sandpaper properly in the buffer. Sometimes it's quite difficult, but I do my best to get in there and get every little bit done. Razor, how are you buddy? Was Razor locking? He knows he's more than welcome to come in any time. Here's the El Presidente, the TF Custom Shaving Brush Fan Club. On you, mate. that one done. They're all done now, so get rid of them. We've got the last one to go. And then we'll be on to the, um, the white. Yeah, now we're starting to see a little bit of colour in this, in the transparent stuff. Once it gets polished, it should be nice. I 
Actually, I might get a fresh piece of the um, the final one. Yep, always, uh, always something to look forward to is our weekends, eh? I'm just going to fold that over, so I've got a bit of a firmer edge to sand into the detailed areas with. Righty. 
Right, that'll do it. We'll get the wets done now, I think. Some nice fresh water. Still no error messages from YouTube tonight. Mind you, we're only an hour and 20 in. It's normally about an hour and 45, an hour and 50 that it starts to kick in. Well, that's what I noticed from the previous ones, to be honest. Okay, I didn't know that, mate. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I've dropped the um, I've dropped the bit rate down, so I've dropped it down from um, nine point one, nine point two to seven point one, seven point two, and um, tonight it's been absolutely rock solid on that seven point one, seven point two um, for the whole stream. It hasn't fluctuated one little bit thus far. YouTube reckons that they prefer you to send through um, only 4.5 megabytes per second. So um, that's what they recommend for putting a live stream through, which is not a lot, really. But it needs to be a constant, you know, like it can't be up and down from that. It's got to be constant. You've got to be able to support that. But I mean, I should be able to support it being that I have anywhere up to 40 megabytes a second upload, which is what live streaming is all about. It's all about upload. Your download doesn't matter. do it for that one.
Yeah, we were just talking about this um, casting, Brett and I, earlier in the stream. And I was just saying to him how refreshing the blank looks, you know, when you, especially in the really hot summer days, and you sort of pick up, because I've got one myself, and I often pick it up just because it looks refreshing. Ice Fusion is what we called this one. So this one's going over to the States Razor and so are the next two that I've got to make. I just hope that uh, they make it over safely with all this bloody COVID stuff that's still going on with airlines and Right, keep soldiering on. You'll see it starting to shine up soon, getting onto these finer grits. How's the shoulder coming along, T-Man?
Oh, that's not good. What, just pain and discomfort, mate, or? All oh, right, okay. Ongoing issues, eh? Right, let's soldier on. Like I said, if it's um, if it's a little bit not as clear and crisp as what it normally is, it could be the fact that you're watching live too. Um, because I know that YouTube Live will degrade the, the picture, but once YouTube have actually rendered the video properly, which will be like I said, either later tonight or sometime tomorrow morning, it should actually come back to being crystal clear sharp. 1080p. I know some of my nighttime streams, um, I mean, I can watch them back because I'm the creator and I can actually um, 
watch them back in 1080 straight away, but I know that YouTube is still rendering the, uh, the video. And sometimes they're still rendering it the following morning, mid-morning, it's still being rendered. It hasn't actually gone live on the channel. So it does take some time for them to fully render the video in its full capability capacity, but I'll check it all out anyway. And if it's, um, if it's not what I want, then I'll be up, bumping it back up again and we'll just see how we go. But if YouTube's definitely having issues, then it's a little bit of a problem. Okay. All right. The last pad. That'll do it. So we'll put this aside for now. And we can take um, take that off the chuck because we're going to turn that around now. It's looking quite nice. Bit more speed.
we'll need the 25mm fastener bit again. Slow that down. Probably more than enough. So we'll take the uh, bit out again. And then we'll just tidy up the bottom there. Yep, so YouTube have just come up now saying YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Absolutely bullshit. I'm just going to do an internet speed test guys. So there's my download, and there's my upload, and there's my ping, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's lower than what it normally is, but there's nothing wrong with that. Now, the fact that I'm only streaming at 7.14 megabytes a second, upload, and I've got 21.7. It's crazy. So it's nothing my end, definitely not.
Grey dog, how are you buddy? I mean, it's all cleared itself again now, so it should be back to what it was. The cache has never moved. My 7.1 data rate, what I'm pushing out, hasn't moved. My internet speed checks out perfectly. And YouTube's now telling me that the uh, connection is excellent. So, people, I rest my case. Queensland's the place mate, Queensland's the place, honestly. Great weather, great people, lots to do, best beaches in the world. You get lovely people, you meet lovely people like me. <laughs> the 
the sunshine state, mate. Sunshine state. The place to be. Well, I've just gave this one the fuel test. And it feels nice in the hand. As usual. No, you've got it all wrong, Razor. That's Tasmania. Tasmania's the one that breeds them with two heads. You've got it all wrong, buddy. Well, there we go, people. That's looking very nice. So, I'm just going to take it off there now. We'll get rid of that chuck. Oh, I need to keep the chuck on there because we're going to do the, um, the old bit of the uh, plastics. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go over to the, um, to the buffer and we'll buff this up and get a, a nice shine on it. And then we can come back and uh, continue on from there, right? Eh? Let's have a look and see how that looks with a knot in it as well. Right, over to the buffer.
Ugh. That'll do that. We'll get it on the um, Fabulosa now.
right, a little bit more. Just on the um, main part of the handle now. Just working into the grooves now of the, uh, the little bead that we put on the bottom. Just making sure that we get right in those little grooves because they're quite fine. Right, a little bit on the bottom and we should be done. We're done. So we'll put it back on the chuck now and um, we'll put a little bit of uh, plastics on it just to give it the final polish. Then we'll set the coin, set the knot and we're done. And we're nearly there. Okay. So how are we all gone in there, all right? Let me um, go back to there. You can see what I'm doing there now. So we've got the plastic X on there. We'll get a clean towel. <clears throat> and nice and slowly does it to start with.
Right, now we've just got to get into the, um, the really tight little grooves now. I think we're nearly there. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Right, we'll get set up now. <coughs> um, glue stick. Glue stick, not. We've got the handle. We'll take the handle out of that chuck now, actually. We can sit that there, we'll get rid of that chuck. We need the epoxy, we need a coin. And we'll be putting an antique silver in this one as well. The antique silver is the real popular one, eh? Although the um, antique brass does look, with, does look nice with some other colours, but the um, antique silver just blends better with blues and stuff, I think. Right, okay, we need the epoxy. So we get a little bit of part A, we'll give that a little sand first too. Um, I do have a rough bit in here somewhere. Just like roughing these up so that they get a better better bond to the glue plug. Right, so that's that done. So, we'll get a little bit of part A. This in there, that'll do it. The same part B. I'll do it. Give it a mix. Be mindful to try and keep my head out the way. Hey Brett. Probably a little bit too much glue, but anyway. Right. We've got plenty of glue there. Right. Right, that's the coin in. And I think I'm going to have to push that in with the um 
Oh, I've got to do that in the other, the other one, haven't I? I've got to do it in the little life. To push the coin in, because the tail, the quill, the quill in the little life is the exact size to push the coin in. So we'll just do that quickly off camera, guys. Just bear with me a sec. Till I just get this in properly. Must have a little bit of air trapped and it doesn't want to go in the coin properly. So I'm gonna have to do my trick with the um, with this one like I used to do in the very beginning. That's it, now we're done. Excellent. <clears throat> so it's in nice and flat now. It was going in a little bit one-sided before and it, um, it must have had air trapped underneath the coin, between the coin and the glue. And it just wasn't, um, I couldn't force it in by hand, it was that strong. So we'll glue the knot in now and then I'll come back to the coin in a second. Yeah, that's nice and even now. That's good, but we'll get the knot in. That'll be it. So we'll get rid of that. <coughs> Set that there. Get rid of this. Uh, stick that there. Throw that away. Get the knot in the handle. Beautiful. That's lovely. Okay, now we'll just get the, um, we'll just get a little bit of methylated spirits just to give that a quick wipe. And um, I'll take my little subscribe button down. <clears throat> we'll put these guys up for a second. These guys are still supporting me through my Patreon page, which is very, very muchly appreciated, guys. Um, I did get a message from Sam the other night. Um, saying that uh, I think his exams all finish on Friday and he's looking forward to getting back into the streams. So um, hopefully we'll have Sam back very shortly. So yes, thanks very much fellas, it's really much appreciated, eh? the support, the purchases. I think we just surpassed on, um, I was looking at some YouTube stats the other uh, earlier today, 
and um, I was just looking, we've reached um, 5,000 views on our videos now and I've just topped 90 videos in the six, seven months that we've been doing this. So we've been busy lads, we've been busy. Um, subscribers are still only around about the 92. I think it went up to about 93, 94 at one stage, but obviously we've had one or two drop out, which happens. Um, so I think we're still sitting around about 92, 93 subscribers to the channel. Right, there we go. It's all done and dusted, fellas. Cleaned up on the bottom. There's no more excess glue. I don't think. Not that I can see. So I'll do the usual and I'll take a little 30 second video clip of this one and um, and um, <clears throat> a couple of photographs and we'll put that up on the page up on my Instagram page and if I get a, get a chance I'll put it on the TF Customs page as well. Um, so let me just get back to the um, let me just get back to the the chat and I'll fix these camera views up for you. So we'll go to camera view one there and the picture in picture it doesn't really matter now because we're nearly finished anyway but we will be going to um, one of the other views at some stage but anyway we'll get back into the chat right so we're ready for our uh, Having a looky at this one, eh? I'll flick us to camera three. Once it focuses, could be a difficult colour to focus too. But you can see we can actually see inside that really deep dark blue. There's like a couple of little windows there that go in as well and, and up in here there's a few little areas where the blue just goes into it, you know, and you see the white inside and we've got that in the bottom. And the top rim there. Anyway, that's that view. I'll take you to uh, camera two now, and I'll show you in that one. So there she is. I think the white's blown out a little bit, but it is pure white. And you'll see that more in the little 30 second video when I take it on the little carousel in the light tent. But anyway, that's it for tonight, fellas. We've got another couple of brushes um, lined up behind me here. Um, I'll just quickly show you them before we call the stream, close the stream. Um, so very quickly, I've got this one that, I've, that I'm doing for a guy. Um, I'm still waiting on his final decision. You can see it's a black handle and it's got an orange stripe right up through. Just a single orange stripe. Um, and it goes all the way through the handle. Um, now that's to match. The guy had a set of scale, uh, sorry, he had a straight razor custom made. And the scales were black with an orange inner and he wanted a razor, uh, he wanted a brush to, um, to match the scales. So basically I cast that black and I cast an orange blank and then I sliced them up, resurfaced them, glued them together and that's the blank we've ended up with. So um, it'll be nice when it's polished up. I think the orange will get a little bit stronger once it's been sanded and polished. Um, and that's got a rhodium, 28 mil rhodium attached to it at the moment. So that's one of the handles, one of the brushes I've got to make. Um, and then these two are going over to America. So this one was called um, 
This one was called Blood Red. Um, so it's, as you can see, it's a sort of a red, really, really rich, ready, shiny red color. With the, um, the, I don't know if it's black, but it's, yeah, it could be black. I mean, it's mixed in, it's, it's hard to tell. And obviously there's a bit of clear or whatever in it as well. It's quite nice. And then this one is rusticated. So um, they look similar, but they're actually different colors when you see them together. As you can see there, um, there's the red, the lower one, and you've got the rusticated one, which is the upper one. Um, and they've got 26mm um, two-band fans um, that are going to be set in these two. And these two are going to be going off to the States along with this other one that we've done tonight. So, um, so they'll be the next streams. And then I do have my uh, silicon mold that we made in one of the streams a long time ago now. And um, I've got one of those um, pieces of timber that I've, that I've cleaned up and I'll show you on camera too, probably. So there's one of those pieces of rotten, punky, powdery, dry timber that we've cleaned up, we've stabilised, solid as a rock now. And um, it's got holes all the way through it. There's a lot of spalting in it as well. Um, so we cleaned that one up a couple of couple of weeks ago. Now I'm going to put that in the mold and we're going to cast it with some colours and we'll see what we get out of that, eh? See if we can make a nice handle out of that one down the track. So that's the next one. So I've sort of cleaned them up, sanded them up. I've got it so that resin can get all the way around in the mold and um, we'll be casting that one up in a stream and we might do a couple of other castings in along with that as well. But that's it for tonight, lads. Um, Again, thank you all for uh, joining me again and putting up with the dodgy YouTube issues again for a little while there and sticking it out and hanging it out with me. And um, yeah, here we are. So another video down and a few more to go yet. And um, like normal, Thanks for uh, giving me your time and, and participating in the chat. Thanks for being in, in the video. It makes it much more uh, exciting for me having people in there in the chat, watching the video, having a good chat as well. Um, rather as me just being here on my own, that wouldn't be much chop, would it? But anyway, look guys, take care. Stay safe. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. And we'll see you the next time. So that'll be um, Saturday morning, nine o'clock. We'll see you then, eh? Cheers for now. See if we can get the screen right tonight. <laughs> See yes. <laughs>